Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Danson. Good evening. You'll probably hear more than once tonight that spinal cord injuries can happen to anyone at any time in any situation. We're all susceptible. Travis Roy was a 20-year-old freshman hockey player at Boston University. In one devastating moment of his first varsity game, he went down and he couldn't get up. Ask yourself right now, how would you deal with this if it happened to you? Actually, none of us really know. You might be made of the right stuff, like Travis Roy. Eleven seconds into his first game. Eleven seconds after he stepped onto the ice. Eleven seconds is all it took for Travis Roy's life to change forever. We have a BU player down in the corner. It's Travis Roy. The I'll freshman from Yarmouth, Maine. And let's see, Mike, if we can pick up exactly what happened to Travis. He hit by Travis Roy. I'm t I don't know. He hit his head right in the board. Wow. He, I'll tell you what he is. He's knocked out. Although it was 11 seconds. Um, it was enough to show everybody that, that it, I made it and that uh, and I knew I made it. Snapshots from an all-American life. A boy who loved to do everything. But most of all, Travis Roy loved being a hockey player. Travis started at 20 months. Uh, first time he was put on skates in the arena I'm still managing today. Um, he stepped out on the ice and started moving along and never fell down. You know, my father and I spent, uh, I couldn't even tell you how many hours we spent on the ice together. And, uh, you know, those are a lot of my favorite times. I coached him uh, probably for a total of 15 years as he grew up. And we had a, a very special bond, I think, as a result of that. By the time he finished high school, Travis Roy had become a great hockey player. Well, he was highly recruited. There was a lot of good teams after him. It wasn't just Boston University interested in him. He was a very, very good player. Um, and I had a great sense of the ice. Sort of that sixth sense to be able to know where your teammates are. As a freshman, Travis Roy made Boston University's defending national champion team. He was pumped. He was psyched. He, had, he was going to prove the little kid from Maine could make it. I knew that it was serious, but in no way did I ever think that it could be what it was. I hated lying on the ice, and when I couldn't get up and get to the bench, um, he knew that something was wrong, and he immediately came down to the, to the ice, and by the time he had got to the ice, I had been calling him because I knew that everything was over. And when I went out there, as usual, it was, come on, Trav, it was a game to be played, let's get up and let's get going. I immediately said that, Dad, you know, I'm, I'm in big trouble. And I'd never heard that from him before. So I knelt down and, and, and I said, what's up? And he said, I can't feel anything and my neck is hurting. And then he looked me straight in the eye and he said, but Dad, I made it. He knew and I knew that it was over. From there on, it's been a roller coaster. Lots of peaks, lots of valleys, uh, lots of friends, lots of love. There is a tremendous amount of love, and, and actually love is a, is a word that I um, take very seriously. Powered by that love, Travis is turning himself into a spokesperson for people in wheelchairs. You know, I feel like, like I have a lot to give, and, and that, uh, you know, that, I, that I was chosen, and, and I feel like I'm getting pretty good at this. Perhaps the biggest challenge for Travis, however, is just trying to fit in. The best part for me is hanging out with my friends. And for that 30 seconds or that five minutes, I'm not thinking about this wheelchair that I'm in. I'm not thinking about my handicapped life. While Travis sits and watches, he also works hard for the day when there is a cure. Short of a miracle, the only thing that's going to make Travis get out of that chair is the cure. I, w I will get out of this chair. I, I know I will. I'm confident in my lifetime that I will see Travis walk again. No doubt in my mind. And I just uh, live my life one day at a time and, and do what I can today. And, uh, but uh, 
hopefully tomorrow or one of those tomorrows, uh, it'll be time for the care. Fortunately for us as a family, we still have Travis Roy, the child that we've loved, young man now. The heart is the same, the compassion, the laughter, everything that made Travis Roy what he was prior to the injury is still there, and we're so fortunate for that. We'll return with Gloria Estefan, Phil Hartman, and Amy Grant.